Yeah. And the title track of their new album is called Groovus Maximus. Now, bands don't come any bigger, any louder, or any meaner than this band here. Two guys next to me. They're, oh, look, I'm talking about you. <laughs> this is Bruce Dickinson, Dave Murray from Iron Maiden. Nice to see you. And you're back with Be Quick or Be Dead, yeah. which, yeah. as we speak, is riding extremely high in the British UK singles charts, isn't it? That's right, number two. Yeah, number two as we speak. A surprise or not? Uh, well, we thought it was going to go, obviously, in, in quite high, because we've got loads and loads of fans out there. And uh, it was touch and go, really, whether it was going to go in, you know, three, two or one. And it ended up number two. It's, it's very good, isn't it? I mean, it's most, it's good. The only way it can go is up. <laughs> now, now, what is it about mainly, you think, has kept people's imaginations for so long? Because a lot of bands who started when you started have now faded away. Um, well, I think we've always... We've never, we've never crapped on our fans in terms of uh, doing like really gross sort of like sellouts to, you know, somebody to, to to America or to different, you know, to different sort of commercial pressures. Really, I mean, obviously, you know, we we're, we're selling records and we're doing gigs and everything. So I mean, you know, obviously, some, obviously, obviously, we're making money out of it and other people are making money out of it and so on and so forth. But even within all that thing, you can still be. Uh, true to what you want to do in terms of music and we've always stuck to doing exactly what we want to do. I mean the record company, bless them, didn't hear the record we'd made until uh, the day after it was cut. The album, I mean, the album is, is, is so amazing to listen to and when we'd done it and, and finished it all and put it all to bed, we had the B-sides to do and it was just like, I mean if we'd been had like serious B-sides, it would have been such a downer. Because you'd know you're doing something second best, you know. And, and how do you work hard at doing something second best? So the best thing that we can say is um, just don't don't take it, don't take the B-sides too seriously. Just have fun with them, really. Yeah. You know, the album's the thing, you know. Yeah. So in the past, we've always done what we said. We do we concentrate 100% on the album. And when it does come to the B-sides, you're pretty much sat. So it's like we, we tend to do a lot of cover songs, you know. And whereas this time we've done a couple of like blues rock stuff that we just actually jammed, you know, and then we've done a couple of cover versions as well, you know. You've probably heard this track already, but hey, it's such a classic. We're going to show it for you here. It's the latest video from these guys and I made, and it's a single, Be Quick or Be Dead. Check out right here all the latest news that's fit to put on a TV screen. It's the hard back set. Now, right here in my hands, we have the winner of the Giant competition. Now, you saw it a few weeks ago at the Frankfurt Music Fair, when Mike kindly donated one of his exclusive basses, one of you lucky winners. And this is the one we chose. Now then, if I pull it out, if I remember rightly, the question was, Excuse where me. did Giant record their first album, Last of the Runaways? Yeah, Bruce, now then, Bruce, you, you can't find the address. Can you find the address there? Who's won this one? It's there. It's young, what's her name? Uh, Neil Kinnock. Neil uh, Kinnock. Ealing, no. No, sorry, that's in Invisible Ink here. Saskia and Woody from, from Emmeland 29 in Holland, the Netherlands, 4191 EJ Geldermelsen. Telephone number is. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, So, Saskia and Woody. And they've won. Emmeland 29. What have they won? They won a, they've won a bass yeah. from Giants Mike Brignadello. That's good, because she's a bass player. She's a bass player. That's right, well done. So, Excellent. Nice one, well done to you. And just so that you know, here's a little photograph of the two young ladies who've won it. So, wherever you are, I hope you're watching. Well done, you've won the bass, and you're going to be getting it real soon. Anyway, <laughs> these guys in their, in their ultimate generosity have also brought down some competition prizes. We've got 10 copies of the Iron Maiden CD, Be Quick or Be Dead. We've got 10 of these very lovely t-shirts, Iron Maiden, Be Quick or Be Dead, and Iron Maiden, candles. Now, who came up with the idea for candles, Bruce? Uh, it was Rod. Ah, uh, no, it was Rod, actually. Was it? Yeah, yeah, he did come up with that idea. Ah, uh, well, good for him, because they've got ten of those to give away as well. We wanted Iron Maiden torches. He said it cost too much money, so he had <laughs> candles instead. So you got candles I don't think it's better, mate. It's a nice paperweight. Yeah. Impress your friends you know, with it, you know. Yeah, you can impress your friends. Anyway, Bruce, you've got a question for us, haven't yes, you? Yes, indeed. Which involves this. Yes. Um, there are four famous last words on this by our manager. What are the four famous last words at the very end of this record? So, remember what to do. You've got to send in the last four words that Rod Smallwood says on the Iron Maiden single, and you could be the lucky winner of all these goodies here. It's time to rock, and it's time to roll. 
have a question for Dave. Yeah, how do you play so well? well, well how do you play so well? Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, it's Rod. Oh. How is it? Hello. 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 That's the manager of the band there. Well. He wants to ask a question as well. Okay. How, how did you get um, to play lots, so well? Lots of, lots of lubrication, actually. I lubricate the um, fingers WD40 with... Um, on the oh, that's right, yeah, that's quite a lot of that, you know. I mean, really, it's like practice. Practice and Keep practice. Practicing. And just lots of drinking Perrier, really. That's oh, right, yeah. Not Perrier, Perrier, yeah. Water, tap water, you know. Not vodka in there. Uh, not vodka, no. Vodka, no, no. no, no. <laughs> second. A, lo a lot of hard work and a lot of practice, I'm sure. Bruce, come in here. I know, I know this chap's got a question for you. Hiya. Right. Uh, you've seen this article. How are you doing? Uh, uh, the bloke changed yep. the name. The bloke, I'm the bloke, do you think he's a bit mad or what? I mean, I've got to know this. Do you think he's a bit mad? I mean, especially his mate who changed his name to status quo. What do you think about a chap who changed his name to I? Philip. Philip? Yeah. Well, I think that's a stupid name. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be Bruce. I mean, what can I, I say? I think I'm made it far more sensible than Philip. <laughs> that's serious dedication You're not for a you. Prince, are you, by any chance? I am, as it goes. You changed your name to Prince. Yeah? Yeah. Well, my name's Prince, everybody. Hello. Could be done, could be done. There you go, it's easy. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone's having a great time. We're going to move right along. We're going to check out the video of the week. And this is Black Crows and their new single. It's called...